Thanks, developing story. Spartanburg County EMS and fire lost one of their own. The coroner tells us Isaiah Kappenman died in a crash while he was on his motorcycle this morning. Now this comes after another firefighter, Tyler Warfield, lost his life last week also on a motorcycle mm -hmm. heading to work. And tonight we're talking to this first responder's friends, Isaiah's uh, family and friends about the man under the helmet. Fox Carolina Shell Ramin spoke to them. She joins us live and we found out, Shell, that he was on his way to his other job when this happened this morning. Yeah, that's right, Tori. His dad actually told me that he was leaving the fire department, heading to Spartanburg EMS, his second job, when unfortunately he was driving along this exact road in this exact spot when he was hit. And his dad says he wants everyone to know his son was extremely hardworking and, as he puts it, all in in everything he did. He was not only a firefighter but also an EMS worker for two counties. And here's a look at Isaiah Campenman, just 24 years old. His dad tells me tonight his life mantra was do it with all your heart. Family says pieces of his heart still remain in his wife Ashley and his daughter. We know Isaiah, as we mentioned, was leaving a job when the coroner says Isaiah's motorcycle slightly crossed the center line and hit a pickup truck. He was thrown from his motorcycle. His friend Matthew tells me while Isaiah was a full-time firefighter, he was a volunteer, so he got a front row seat to see Isaiah's intense work ethic for more than six years. It's just surreal. It's like, I feel like he's still, you know, he's working right now, it feels like. And it feels like I could call him and he would answer. It just hasn't hit completely. They just loved helping the community. I know that. They loved to help anybody he could in any way he could. And Matthew goes on to say about eight of them had dinner at the fire station last night. So it's pretty hard to imagine how Isaiah was here one minute and then literally gone the next. He says Isaiah was extremely good with patience and always carried compassion to every single call. And his dad tells me that his wife, Ashley, and he were approaching their one year wedding anniversary in about a week or so. So they're very upset about that as well. We know that the pickup driver in this case was not hurt. And as soon as we have any information, about how they are going to honor Isaiah will, of course, pass along that information to you. For now, reporting live in Greer tonight, I'm Shale Ramin, Fox Carolina, the 11 o'clock news.